boys today we're gonna take a look at what games are the best for drifting number one acero corza the best drifting physics period released in 2014 it's a pretty old game very highly recommend to play this only with a steering wheel though controller is really wonky keyboard is absolutely horrible <laughs> don't do that i've tried took me about two weeks to learn how to drift decently in acero corza another very important part of the game is the mod community there's track mods car mods and graphic mods releasing constantly even today for example you can go nuts with the mods here's a 4000 horsepower railway drive supra because why the quack not uh set of course for me honestly is the most fun in a server with other people though we have often organized drift sessions with the boys and we have even done drag race events which was nuts so yeah i definitely recommend a set of course if you are looking for realistic drifting physics i wouldn't recommend this game for consoles though because you can't mod your acero corza on consoles number two forza horizon 5 the drifting physics they're not realistic but they're very fun since it's not a simulator it allows us to rip way harder through the city gameplay is just way more chill when you don't have to focus on handling the car itself you don't need to practice for weeks to be able to hold the drift so you can easily get into it have your fun and go on with your day it's also a game you don't necessarily need a steering wheel for main focus for forza horizon series has always been controller although you can comfortably play it with a keyboard and steering wheel as well for me personally the main things i really like in forza horizon 5 are the livery system you can download other people's liveries the graphics they look so good the licensed cars real life car sounds as well the steering wheel support pretty good auction house that's a lovely feature you can sell and buy cars the map it's a huge map i love it story mode very fun engine swaps on any car you can swap the engine and the fact that you can download other people's drift and drag tunes now it's a little pricier than a set of corza but it has its own perks i feel like forza horizon is just as good on console as it is on pc unlike a set of corza right console players can also play together with pc players through the convoy feature using the xbox companion app overall very beautiful looking game i love it number three car x i pretty much owe everything to this game that's basically all i played back in the day when i started this channel i still play it regularly even nowadays i think i'm getting close to like 2000 in-game hours in car x actually unlike forza car x has a big modding community not just maps and cars like in a set of corza but modding extends to like license plates neons hydraulics rain mod engine swaps increased backfire and all that fun stuff the graphics however are not that good even on ultra mega graphics but you can slightly make the game look better with mods once again right the drifting is mostly focused on controller and keyboard carx does have steering wheel support but it handles differently depending on the type of wheel you have uh, logitech g29 which i previously had extremely noisy in carx for example thrustmaster t300 steering wheel however is very quiet due to the fact that it has a belt engine in it, it takes a long time to learn drifting in car x with the steering wheel without assist and 900 degrees steering wheel rotation some steering wheel players have basically given up and keep the assist on but then the steering wheel movement is not realistic you'd be turning the wheel the opposite direction as you would in real life took me about 500 hours of steering wheel practice in car x to be able to drift that smoothly as you see me drift now that's a long time the servers can hold up to 16 players which is very decent it's easy to get long tandem trains going on as well since it has like an arcade physics feel to it on keyboard and controller the drifting is quite easy by the way you can play comics on mobile phones tablets consoles nintendo switch and obviously pc as well pc master race okay that was cringe the last three i mentioned have cross-platform support as well it's way cheaper than forza so if you're on a budget it's a great game for drifting number four bmng drive drifting in bmng is super hard in my opinion compared to drifting in other games while the crash physics are realistic for me the drifting doesn't feel realistic i have drifted in real life plenty of times and the closest is a set of corza so guys difficult handling does not always mean realistic handling 
there's a difference. PMNG does have in-game mod repository where you can easily pick tracks and cars you want to download. Steering wheel support is not that great, but it works. The feeling of the steering wheel is just a little off for some reason. I've tried multiple wheel settings from different YouTubers as well, but I think the most satisfying thing about drifting in BMG is when you crash your car and enjoy the damage you inflicted on your car, right? Keyboard drifting looks really weird as well. I wouldn't recommend that. The front wheels just wiggle left and right, kind of sus. Personally, I think controller seems to be the best option for BMG. The graphics are nothing to brag about, but the maps are huge, some of them. I like the fact that you can enable traffic as well well, you can part by part modify your cars. BMNG has online support as well, but I've honestly never seen a tandem train. I don't know if that's difficult, haven't seen any tandem trains. But I really like the idea of cars being able to take a lot of damage. More games should implement proper crash physics with the option to turn that damage off as well. Some people don't like it. What I also enjoy in BMNG is that you can be creative. For example, you can load your car onto a trailer, bring it to a drift track and unload it and whip it on the track. All that freedom to do whatever you want makes you interested in the game for a long time. Number 5. GTA 5 5M. So 5M is a mod for GTA 5 which allows you to access modded servers. While 5M itself is free, you do need GTA 5, which obviously costs money. But there's a lot of drifting servers in 5M. Some of them even have steering wheel support. And honestly, it's surprisingly good. Even the force feedback is working. The server I used to play in with a steering wheel was Fantasy Drift. I even made a video about how to install the steering wheel mod. I don't know if that specific server is still up. I'm sure you can find some drift servers with steering wheel support when you search the 5M server list. What I like about 5M drift servers is that there's a ton of drift maps in one server. You don't need to switch a server if you want to whip on a different map. Simply teleport to a different drift track location and that's it. Very convenient. 5M is also good for car mates. You guys can pop your hoods, exit the car, walk around. Gives car mates a good vibe. There's also car crash damage and you can switch cars without having to leave the server. Very good game for tandems on tight drift tracks. The physics are obviously arcade but honestly on a wheel was so much fun by the way there's even role play drift servers and race servers as well out there where some people are cops and some people are drifters or racers haven't gotten into those myself yet but i will soon number six is a lie but you know what isn't a lie the subscribe button it's very real check it out click it and as always stay sideways